I'm going to show you two easy ways to add video to a PowerPoint presentation. The first way is to insert the video onto the slide. I'll begin by clicking the Insert tab. Then I'll click Movie and select Movie from File. From here, you can navigate to wherever the video file is located, select it, and then click Open. You are prompted to decide how you want the video to start when you're playing the slideshow. You could pick automatically. I selected to click it so that if you're not ready for it, then you can play it when you are ready. This will place a small image of the video file on the slide. It varies on the size depending on the file that you insert. Sometimes it will be just a black box. Sometimes it will be larger than the slide. Sometimes it's small like this. You can grab any of the handles and resize it or move it around the slide as needed. The inserted video is complete but you must remember that you have to have the video file and the PowerPoint file in the same folder for this to work because actually what happens even though it looks like the video is embedded into the PowerPoint presentation it is really just a link so the folder that contains both files is the package that makes it all work. Now let's take a look at how you can actually embed the video into the PowerPoint so it was really part of the file. Once again, I'll go to the Insert tab, but this time I'm going to click Object instead of Movie. This opens the Insert Object dialog box. First off, I want to make sure that Create New is selected, and then in the Object Type list, we'll scroll down and look for the type called Package. Now I'll click Browse and navigate to the video file. Now I'm going to type in a label which will show on the slide but it isn't terribly important except that it is required to have something in this field. As you can see, What's on the screen now is a little bit different than the inserted video. The embedded video has a little box like this and I normally resize it a little bit. You can or you can just leave it alone. For an embedded video, there are a few extra steps. We're going to start by clicking the Animations tab and then click Custom Animation. This opens the custom animation pane. Now click Add Effect. Roll your cursor over Object Actions and select Activate Contents. Now I'll show you how to play the videos during a slideshow. During a slideshow, click anywhere on the video to start playing it. Click it again to stop playing it. Click outside the edge of the video to advance to the next slide. For the embedded video, click the icon and it will open a new window to play the video. The new window has a set of controls at the bottom that you can use to stop and start and play the video. The controls are often hidden when you're playing the video, but you can roll your mouse over them to make them display. If necessary, grab the corners of the video and drag it to make it a different size. When you're finished with the video, just click the X in the upper right corner to close the extra window. This concludes the demonstration.